head. Oh my goodness. Boy, y'all know how rough it is sometimes. You ever, let me tell y'all something. Shades on the mic is a type of person that knows you're gonna have a surprise birthday party. And they come to you and say, guess what? You say, what? You're gonna have a surprise birthday party next week. No, I don't do that And you're like, oh, you weren't supposed to tell me where you, no, but I just couldn't hold it. Ain't nobody say nothing about a surprise party, so Shades on the mic is trying to tell me. Do not me, listen to Money Green. Trying to tell me some things that are coming on TV that I don't want to know that's coming on TV. Guess what's coming on that? I don't want to know. Let me be like the homeboy. What's homeboy's name that signed the bad boy? Hey, who's the, uh, the ones that said it's time to make the whiners? Mario Whiners. Let me be Mario Whiners. I don't want to know. Leah, right really? there. Really? What's on TV? <laughs> oh, He's on my God. show. Oh, baby. Well, can I, be, I, can I do a song? I don't know. Don't. <laughs> and That's all I have to say. Everybody know what don't is. Keep it on the low. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, shades on the mic. I don't want to know. Anyway. Oh, God. We'll be talking about going back to the singing again. Going back to the singing. That going singing. That Tavion be the judge of that. Okay, the first episode of Uncensored on TV One, and we have the one and only Fantasia. Barino. Correct. Macaroni. <laughs> Fantasia. Okay, John. Fantasia. Fantasia. She wasn't wearing a bra, was she? I really wasn't looking that closely to see if she was wearing Fantasia's a bra. outfits cradle her breasts. I'm not a breast man, but they cradle her breasts so well that she looks like a superhero. <laughs> you know how the, 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 the women superheroes, their breasts are like nice and round and Looks like they can do anything and they'll just be right there. They're not going to wiggle too much. That's how Fantasia's breasts look. They are just right there cuffed by the outfit. There's no bra in sight. How does she do that? That doesn't mean it's not a bra on. I normally can see a bra. You can't see the bra. It depends on what kind of bra you wear. I normally can see bra and panties. What are you? What are you now? I'm not a pervert. The bra examiner? I mean. <laughs> to most people, I'm not a pervert. Oh, I'm just, my gosh. I'm just. Whoa. My, I just. Can we get into it? Don't. Her breasts. Because <laughs> she had the cleavage and the thing zipped. How do they stay in? All right. Anyway, go ahead. You, you, you do your thing. Oh, my God. Maybe lose my train of thought after oh, you talking. Oh, my God. About breasts. About Fantasia. Um, I actually wasn't looking forward. I wasn't looking forward to seeing Fantasia because we've already seen her story been told on TV. Um, she she did a, um, one on Lifetime. So I, I really wasn't expecting an uncensored from her. Which, but it was a very good uncensored. I really enjoyed her. I I, I noticed um, as I was talking to her, and um, she was telling how she grew up. Grew up how her father was and how um, how intense he was about music, that they cared about music more than they cared about them getting A's and B's in school, that he was on them. And as y'all know that um, um, Jojo and KC is their cousin. So they come from a whole musical background family. KC, Jojo, and, Devante, um, Dalvin. And so um, I'm Fantasia's mother sings, and she is amazing. If you ever seen Fantasia on um, IG, she'll she'll try to make her mother sing, and um, she'll do a call and response, and then her mother will be singing. Her mother is amazing. She's a great singer. I'm surprised she hasn't thought about doing something herself. Um, and um, her brothers, everybody in the family is a singer. I noticed um, that they only focused on her younger brother. And she has more than uh, that younger brother. That's the first time I've ever seen mm -hmm. her. We, we usually see, um, I can't think of the uh, brother. Rico or somebody. Is it Rico? Is it Rico? The little troublemaker? Yeah, I seen him in a play, actually. He didn't do bad in that play. Okay, a little busy um, body. But it, him, and it's, a big, it's another guy who's a bigger uh, gentleman. I can't think of neither one of their names right now. 
but if something must have went something went down that there right now and not on ter- um, talking terms. Right. Um, but she just talked about a lot about how her father was, and that that made her kind of not want to do music because he was so hard on them about it. You know, he he really he really was hard making sure they hit them notes. He was very um, Joe Jackson. <laughs> Um, with them, so not, um, not Joe Jackson enough because she got pregnant at sixteen or whatever. Well, it, it might have been Joe Jackson enough for her to go out and do something. Sometimes we, when, we, when we when stuff like that happens, we rebel. Reby didn't do that. Reby, yeah, we don't really know. What Reby, Reby turned did. to a centipede on that Re- ass. Re- Reby is quiet. Yeah, Reby so turned to a really centipede. That centipede. That's the only song she came out with too. That's all she need. She can electrocute me anytime. She was sending electrical bolts through the air. Oh my gosh, how did we get off of here? Out of the night is when the centipede is crawling. I'm crying to Money green. Lie. So many Come tears. back. She was like, Ain't it nice? Money green. We are on Fantasia. All right. My bad. So, anyway. Back to Tasia. So, so she um, talked about, you know, that she didn't want to, she, what did she dropped out of school, correct? Right. Am I right? She dropped out of school. She didn't want to do the school scene anymore. She just wanted to hang out with her friends and just be. And cut up. She wanted to do hood rat she with her. She wanted to cut up and do her thing. She you know, didn't want to do nothing. Do hood rat stuff with her hood rat friends. <laughs> That's what it was. She's hanging out, running the streets. I'm the way you said hood rat thing. You know about like the guy in real life? With the hood rat? Yeah, the little chubby guy. What little chubby guy? You saying he want to do hood rat things with his hood rat friends? No, I don't remember. You don't know about that? Okay. I don't know about that. You want to school me about that? Funny do bad things. Drive into a car. So did you know that you could perhaps kill somebody? Yes, but I wanted to do hood rat stuff for my friend. All right, keep going. Okay, so as we heard the clip <laughs> of hood rat things for my friends. Well, yeah. That's something that we don't do. We need a disclaimer for that. But anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, that's what Fantasia wanted to do. That's what Fantasia wanted to do. And was doing. Yeah, and then she got caught up. And she got caught up bending over. And, and then. Uh, and the guy didn't have pregnant. guy didn't have a condom on. We'll, and he, we'll need to go all into that. The, the rat. They know how kids um, are produced. The, they know the, how kids come. The hood rat wasn't wearing a hood. And bam, Zion popped up. No, pretty little girl, but hell, Fantasia was out there getting it on. Yeah, so pretty much it just talked about her life and the stuff that she went through. I thought it was really good. I thought it was good, but it's mostly stuff that we already know. No, it ain't, because we didn't hear about Patty LaBelle going to her dressing room, pulling up on her saying, listen here, this is the industry. Open up your book. We about to go to school. Write down. Take these notes. And she said, "Patty put the game down on her." But that yeah, was that was a that lot. was different. I mean, we didn't hear about that. That, that was major, because was major. people always talk about we don't do this with one another. We don't help one another. We ain't nobody did that. No, Patty cares. Not only does she make pies, but she will confront you and let you know the ins and outs of the industry when you're a young whippersnapper like. Fantasia was. Now she had, she did that with other people, but she has selective people she do that with. Yeah, but you got to be good. You got to be able to say. Yeah, you got. She has selective folks that she does. No, she didn't do that. And she, al- she also had an encounter with Aretha the Franklin as well. What are we gonna get to that? How come Patty can't have a moment without somebody bringing? Oh, there they go. There they go. That's a one. That's a one. Somebody tell me how come every time somebody talk about Patty Labelle, somebody want to pull Aretha Franklin out the ass. And I just did. You sure did. So that's why I had to reference everybody who's hey, an influence let Patty, in Fantasia's life. Patty and her Patty, Patty. and her cakes have their due and her pies have their due. Now, we ain't done talking about Fantasia eating sweet potato pies. So Fantasia ate the whole pie and she was very happy about it. Now you can talk about Aretha. No, you can go ahead. You, 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 you got the floor, Money Green. Aretha said, look here, I ain't got no pies to give you. I don't have no advice to give you. But bring your ass by my house so you can sing for my guest at my Christmas party. That's how Aretha puts it down. <laughs> That's the honor Aretha put it down. She said, I ain't got a lot to say. And she said, when, it, <laughs> she, said when she does say something, she, she dozes off and falls asleep between her statements. 
I oh, said, did she just sit here and tell us that Aretha Franklin was not collected? <laughs> she said, yes, Aretha is not collected. She sometimes made a statement. She would just go silent like she fell asleep, like she hung up or something. And then a minute later, she come back. Yeah, Aretha Franklin on the phone eating. <laughs> Put that oh, phone on me. mute. Put that phone on mute and said, mm. or whatever she was doing, and unmute the phone when she just finished. Like I was saying, baby, have your ass over here December 23rd for my Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> you are so silly, man. <laughs> so that's how that went. But uh, it, it was very insightful. Uh, and I'm talking about beyond her breast, not being restrained by a bra and still being up inside the outfit. Like they customized the top of the outfit to cuff her breast a certain did. way. Yeah, to make her breast not move. So beyond that, beyond the patty pies, beyond Aretha Franklin's Christmas party, Tasia has a husband. Did they have another kid? Did they have a kid? So she just has the kid from when she was doing hood rat stuff with her hood rat friend. I thought she had a little boy too, but I'm not sure. Okay, well, she has the, uh, the son from when she was, the daughter from when she was doing hood rat stuff back in the day. But beyond that, I wonder if she ever blessed the guy at American Idol that let her in, the security guard. I wonder if she ever found him and blessed him with something. I'm not sure. Cause but I'm pretty sure they might have stayed in touch. Saying touch nothing. You better give me some money. Give me a car or something. <laughs> <laughs> Doors were locked on your ass. And I got you in for the... And that was a major audition, too, because I remember that. When she came in there doing Proud Mary. And that time she had small breasts in. She had them friendly breasts in. And they ain't friendly no more. And things will knock somebody out. You get a black eye mess around Fantasia. But uh, but that's 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 it for me. Oh my gosh, I can't. That's it for me. I watched Uncensored with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll put my feet on the couch at Eddie Murphy's house. So you straight? Is that it? Is that the end of our Fantasia? Our Fantasia uh, episode? Our Fantasia uh, fantasy? Is that the end of our Fantasia fantasy? That's 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 the end. That's the end. That's the end of it. Um, but stay tuned to start watching those um, Uncensored. They are really good. We got some more to come. I'm on not going to name any. On TV One on Sundays at 10 o'clock. All right. There you have it. And uh, and y'all look at it and let me know, and that Fantasia one, let me know if you see a bra anywhere in sight. Because for the life Go of me, back on demand. I didn't see a bra. See it. For real. Boy, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Lyrics and Lies, we're out. We appreciate y'all tuning in.